In Detroit, Catholics are preparing all week for a very special day. The first feast day for Blessed Solanus Casey is set for one week from today, July 30th. And to mark the occasion, the Capuchins are holding nine days of events. Our Coco McAvoy was there and got to meet a woman who plays a critical role in Father Solanus's road to sainthood. Dozens of people are coming to the celebrations this week, and I had the chance to speak one on one with one woman from Panama who says she was cured after visiting Father Solanus Casey's tomb, and her story will blow you away. The Solanus Casey Center on Detroit's east side is a place where people come for comfort, strength, and guidance. For Paula Medina Zarate, visiting the center in 2012 changed her life. Yo había firmado mi jubilación y vine. She says, I just retired, and I was invited to Detroit by two priests that worked with me, but I did not want to come because of my skin condition. Zarate is from Panama and suffered from a genetic skin condition all of her life. There were very difficult times, times where my skin would open up and I would bleed, she tells me. I was not able to walk. I couldn't take any steps without shoes. She knelt by Father Solanus Casey's tomb that day, praying for the sick. Then she heard a voice speaking directly to her. She says, I asked for forgiveness. I asked God for mercy because I did not know he was there with me in that moment. And I felt heat, an intense heat all over my body, from my feet and upward. Days after that moment, she says her skin began to heal and doctors determined her cure was nothing short of a miracle from God. Zarate will always cherish that indescribable day from 2012, an experience that grew her faith in God and transformed her entire life. She says in sickness and health, sadness and happiness, we have to know that God exists. I'm Coco McAvoy, Local 4. Thank you, Coco. And there will be masses held the rest of the week at the center leading up to the first ever celebration of Father Solanus' Casey's Feast Day, which is next week.